obviously his experiences or his sort of views on life. Um, and this notion of uh, loneliness, isolation, yeah. I mean, it's probably a bit of a difference really there, isn't it? But did, did you speak to him more and more about him? Or did you take yeah, I mean, there's no secret. He, he got divorced about five years ago, so he went from a house full of bustling children to coming home to, to no one being there. And he felt loneliness that we've all felt. I felt when I, when I leave my wife and kids and go away to work somewhere, loneliness is a very painful thing. It's like an ache, it's a physical ache. And, he, and, it, and that provoked him to explore the idea. And then he read an article about funeral directors and people dying alone. And so he wanted to make this film, but he wanted to make this film as an uplifting film. And it is an uplifting story. These funeral directors have a great, uh, they have a great sense of duty towards the deceased and are really conscientious in their job. And I knew that it was a very unique idea. I've never need, seen a film like this made before. And, I, and when, it, when an opportunity came for me to do it and to play the lead, and I thought, I want to do unique jobs. And also I want to do jobs about London that are unique. I get asked to do so many films about London, being a Londoner, that are full of cliches. I could spend my whole life snorting cocaine and, and holding a double barrel shotgun, you know, speaking in Cockney rhyming slang. I, I could do it, I could do uh, uh, endless films like that. All of them cliches. Or I could do films about council estates where we're all dysfunctional and all. And they're all cliches to me. They're not the London that I know, you know. Uh, they're the surface level of London. And this film goes beyond that. It goes deeper than that. And it tells a very unique story of London, very unique aspect of London. And, I, and so this is one I chose to do. I avoid films about London like The Plague, to be honest with you. That's why I'm always off somewhere else rather than in London. But this I chose to do because I, I also feel this is very much like a European film. This is, this is made by an Italian in London, so it's, it has a very unique perspective on it.